Hi there folks, Corky Duke here. Bomber Crew is the game and uh, Memphis Bell is the name. Well, it's officially Memphis Bell 2 now. If you were watching the last mission, the 20th mission, uh, they lost, the bomber lost both its landing gear and it crash landed and uh, the pilot was the only person to get killed, uh, Robert Morgan. Um, <clears throat> and that was because I moved everybody into the radio room. Watch that mission, mission uh, number 20. And uh, you'll see how to put everybody in, and uh, you can call it the recovery room, the safe room, whatever. It's the best place to be in a B-17 when you try to crash land. So now, uh, we are one crew short right now because we've lost one bomber in this campaign and two crew. Notice this recruit button right here has a little red triangle. That means we have to recruit somebody before we can go on to a mission. Obviously, we need a pilot. So nobody's going to fly the plane. So you're going to get this if you try to go to the briefing room. So recruit a, full, recruit a full crew to start a mission. So let's go to recruit. And just like before, we're going to go for the best possible crewmen we can, even if it means going out of the game and coming back in. So this shows you who you need. We need one pilot. That's all we need. Everybody else is here. So we click on them to find out uh, their uh, ability, their um, character ability, and then this is their speed. What we're looking for is a speed of 120. Okay, so that didn't give us what we want. And <clears throat> I know the pilot doesn't move around much, but if he does have to bail out, you're going to want him to be as fast as possible so he can, in fact, bail out before the plane goes into a dive and is unrecoverable and he winds up going down with the plane. So that's why we're going to push for a speed of 120. And we're just going to keep doing this until we get to it. 100, uh, crew, uh, ability 6. Now see, this is this is what you got to watch out for. It, it doesn't have the speed we want, but it's been my experience, and I think this is just random. Notice she's a, a level 1 pilot. Okay, I mean, we're talking rookie. I mean, this one's got 100 speeds, and this is a level 6. So this is something you have to look at when you're doing this. You want to look at the uh, ability of the crew and their speed. This may take a while. Hopefully it won't, but it might. <clears throat> Alrighty. Hopefully this does it here. 5, 100. 5 and 110. That's a little bit better. But it's not quite 120. Let's go for the 120. It'll pop up. I know this seems monotonous, but... It, it pays out in the end, believe me, it does. Alrighty. 120, there we go. Norma Cook, 120. Okay, and that's a pretty good crew ability. So we're going to go ahead and recruit her. We're going to go into crew gear. There she is. Now, crew gear. So we obviously have to change her sex. So we simply go to body and uh, change the name. And the crew member that we got is a Memphis Bell crew member. He was a top turret gunner who uh, uh, replaced Trace, uh, um, replaced uh, Atkins, Eugene Atkins. So. Harold Locke. So this is another real Memphis Bell crew member. Oops, that's an H, not a K. All right. Okay, there we go. Harold Locke. Okay, so he's the new pilot. What the hell am I doing? Damn it. All righty. Ah. Okay, everything all right on? Oh, okay, it looks good. Ah, man, let's get my brain with it here. Okay, set that off to the side. Now we're going to need to suit her up. Notice she's, or he is. <laughs> ah, I changed the sex, I changed the sex, so he's a he now. Okay, first transgender in the United States 15th Air Force. Okay, here we go. So we're going to want... 
Uh, well, actually, we can. What we can do is we can go here, equip to all, which is just equipping him. Oops. No, we want to go here. That's it. Equip. Yeah. So this will basically equip him with everything everybody else has. So, and that's that's an easy way to do it. Until we get to the boots. Now everybody else has plum soils, but he's the pilot, so we're going to give him tough and leather boots. As I said before, it increases his armor, it slows the speed down a little bit, but we already got 120 uh, speed on him. So, and we're just going to equip him with that. This would equip everybody with it, which is what we don't want to do. So, Alright, <clears throat> and uh, his speed is still 64, so that's pretty good. And his speed's 71, wow, okay. Uh, I wonder why his speed is so fast. Anyway, okay. All right, now uh, off to the aircraft, and we're going to use a different uh, base paint for this one. I've already chosen this one. We're going to use that. And nose art. We're going to stick with the Memphis Bell, go classic. So it's just got a different nose art. The engine art. What looks best here? Flying tigers. That looks pretty good. Wing. Yeah, let's do flying tigers. That looks pretty good. Wing art, rod L2. Yeah. Waist art, rod L2. And this is a Memphis Bell 2 tail art. Well, we're still in the uh, 91st uh, bombardment group, so we got to use the uh, insignia of the 91st bombardment group. So, let's see. What can I put here? Red. Okay. A little reference to uh, the last crash. All right. <laughs> A little reference to the last crash. So we're off the, the charts here as far as uh, what's going on. Now, here's where the problem comes in. Let me explain. Now, the starts that fuselage off on Armor Mark III, which is actually what the original Memphis Bell had, okay, we can actually go through the rest of the campaign on Armor Mark Fusage through. It is possible. Uh, it's not really recommended, but you can do it, okay? However, when we go to the gun turrets, this is where we get screwed. And there's also another place where we get screwed. It drops us. Remember, we had quad 50s on a tail, ball, and top, but well, we're down to 303. Uh, minus or mark, 303 times 2 mark 3 okay which is the high no it's not even the highest so okay so what we're going to do and hopefully we got enough money to do this we'll go to uh, we're not going to have enough money to do that so so let's go to this it's probably going to be cheap enough to be able to um, uh, equip all gun positions with the 50 caliber Mark One, so we're gonna have to do that. We should have enough money for that. Probably not. Yeah, yeah. This is this is gonna be rough because what? Well, also we got screwed up is the gut this system and no fire extinguisher for the engine. Let's uh, does our Pilot have the ability to emergency dive. Let's look at that. Emergency land, emergency bailout, emergency dive. Okay, so he does have the ability to emergency dive. So we use that to extinguish the fire extinguishers. So what else can we get? That's going to be rough too. But man, we really need that. And well, we can get it. We do need it though, and this gives us a second first aid kit. So. No, for, no parachutes, so the engineer is going to have to risk going out on the wing to, uh, and now we got, well, we already uh, agreed, see, this is what's going to hurt right here, the electrical system mark one, hydraulic system mark one, radar mark one, and oxygen tank mark one. The oxygen tank's not that big of a deal, but the electrical and the hydraulics definitely are. So, that upper, so we got ball and tail 50 caliber, so, well, that's... This is about the best we're going to be able to do. 
Um, I don't dare take any. What I could do is lower the fuselage. And, uh, yeah, no, I don't want to. We don't want to drop down there because it's actually going to cost us more money and reduce our armor by a thousand. So we definitely don't want to do that. So, <clears throat> so this is this this is what happens. It can sometimes be a disaster when you lose a bomber this late in the campaign. So we're going to have to see what happens now. We are now into the second, which actually, what we can do, and uh, we're going to have to see. We don't have any milk runs that we can do, but, however. This puts uh, absolute emphasis on this mission right here. And why? Because if I do this mission right, we will only face three fighters. Count them three. That's it throughout this whole mission. So let's do this. This is Corsica Resistance Supply Drop. <clears throat> now, if I do this right, which I have gotten real good at doing this right, we'll only encounter three fighters. So let's get going. Remember, lock your pilot in his seat. Get everybody to their positions, and uh, let's let's get going. And remember to um, raise your landing gear. We're going to get a few screenshots of this. Because this is a new, this is the Memphis Bell Two, so. And, whew, man, this is the problem when you lose a bomber this late in the campaign. But now, basically, what we're going to do, let me show you, we're going to take a route all the way around, drop our supplies, and then take that same route going back. If we do that right, the these first three fighters that are coming up here in a little bit will be the only fighters we encounter throughout this whole mission. And you think I'm joking? I'm not. So I'm going to wait on that. Yeah, I'm going to wait on tagging that. Okay, wait for those first three fighters to pop up. They should pop up somewhere around here. Yep, there they are. Alrighty. Let's make our turn, our right turn here. Now, the good news is our gunners still have some pretty good shooting abilities. Now don't tag this in this mission. See, there it is. There's the electro system going down already. But we won't need it. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. What are you waiting for? Ah, okay. Okay, so basically, we are, well, let's, we don't want to veer too close to Sardinia there. All right, let's get him back to his position. We got injured crew, we sure do. So let's get, and Scott. So let's get him healed. We'll get everybody 100% health. And we've got to keep an eye on where we're, where we're going to travel down the Mediterranean Sea here, and then we're going to make a left turn. Okay. And we're going to put everybody in their position now. We're basically going to watch this map. And we're coming close to our left turn here. And we'll round about it. We'll round it about. Well, anyway. We'll just head straight up the Tyrrhenian Sea here. Excuse me. Now, once we get close enough, there'll be a photo opportunity right about here. And there's a radar station here. So we have to avoid that. 
the trick here is to not get detected by enemy radar. Let's see if we can pop uh, some of these radar sites up with our radio for recon. But that's what we want to do. We want to avoid detection. New intel. All righty. Where is it at? Right there. There's one radar station. We don't want to get too close to Sardinia. Those radar stations on the island. Like I said, we want to avoid radar in this mission. Um, I hear he's a nice guy. Seats of the teddy bear, though. He's a soldier and he suits with the teddy bear. That's cool. That's my next campaign that I got coming up, MASH. So, of course, Radar is the radio operator. What else? What other position would he be? Colonel Potter is the pilot. Uh, Hawkeye is the navigator. So, that's coming up after this campaign here. So, we're going to squeeze. We want don't want to get too close to the right because there is a radar station off to the right that will pop up here in a little bit. Should be right about there, I do believe. <coughs> Excuse me. So, and it'll reach out to this area here, so we want to avoid it. This is one of those uh, missions that I mentioned earlier in the campaign about uh, having to cut your own course and custom navigate with your navigator. It's probably a good thing that the navigator didn't die, because if he did, it's it, depending on his 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 uh, crew ability as to whether or not he'd even be able to custom navigate, which would have been an absolute disaster. But here we go. And there it is, and the the right the uh, photo opportunity will be right in that area there, right there it is, it's popped up. So let's fly out a little bit farther away from that radar station. And we're looking good as far as, hopefully, we're at mid altitude, yeah. Okay, we can go ahead and tag it now. Yeah, we're looking good. Okay. And it's a pizza place. And headquarters wants to know if it has a drive-through. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Gonna head back to our hard left, and I'm going to show you how to do this mission without being getting detected. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to fly to a point here. Also. There is another radar station to the north here, so we got to fly right in between this area here to avoid detection from the northern radar station. And then we're going to drop the supplies and turn around, hit um, hit the gas pedal, get the hell out of there quick, and uh, we should be able to be uh, avoid being detected. I've done this a million times like this, and it does work. It works very well. Okay, so, all right, let's make a slight left turn to avoid that northern radar. Yeah, there we go. All righty. And right now, open the bomb bay doors. And wait, we're, we're looking for a white dot. That's what we want to... That's our target right there, a white dot. Get as close to it as we can. Right there it is. See that glowing dot? Right there. And drop. And then we want to do this. And this. Close the bomb bay doors. And this. And that should do it. Just kind of thread the needle, basically. And so far, so good. If we got detected, we'd be notified and we'd be absolutely jumped by fighters. So we did it. So 
This is how you do this mission without being detected. We won't see any more fighters on our way home. Now had we, and we're going to stay at mid altitude too, because we go climb to high altitude you just get, uh, you lose your navigation abilities. So, and we want to thread the needle between these two again. So we're just going to, uh, we won't need the oxygen. And let's head for it. And looking good, looking very good. We just head straight out on this line. Like I said, three fighters is all we're gonna <coughs> encounter. Now we're gonna stay out over the ocean, and the reason is, if we cut across Sardinia, we're gonna run into fighter patrols. So we head straight out, then once we hit the Mediterranean Sea, make a hard right turn and head for home. That's basically what we're doing. And that's what you want to do. I'm telling you. If you cut across Sardinia, you will meet more fighters. So, played this mission a million times. Just looking at all the videos I got of it. So, now, it took me quite a while. I'm going to have to try and figure out how long it took me to figure out how to do this without getting detected. Because I kept trying to go out the same way. I kept trying to go out this way. And I kept getting detected. I was trying to thin my uh, needle my way through this little thin spot there. Which is not enough room. So I thought well, one day I said. Well let's try and go back out the same way I came in. And it worked. It worked. It absolutely worked. And here we are. We've, we've, we've met three fighters on this mission. And that's it. And that's all we're going to need. Just have him stand at the guns, just in case. We don't need him at the uh, bombardier station anymore. So, and we got plenty of fuel left. A few minutes. Usage rate is good. I don't think we have any damage. Any bullet holes? Yeah, a couple. Superficial damage. Anyway. And we'll keep going till we hit the Mediterranean Sea. Then we'll make a hard right turn. And also, we didn't need to call for fighters either. Or even use the auto tag. No new in intel, so everything's fine. And now's a good time. We'll go ahead and head for home. Make that hard right turn. And head for home. Mm, I like that a little better. I don't want to get too close to Sardinia. There are fire patrols. <clears throat> All right, looking good. Uh, hopefully this will give us enough money to upgrade our weapon system. I think what I'm going to do at this time is leave the cheat guns at 303s and concentrate on getting the rest of the the main guns up to quad 50s as much as we can or at least quad 303s for that extra firepower. Mm. Well basically what saved us because if we would have been jumped by fighters, we would have gotten shot to hell because of our lack of firepower on the bomber. So, So this is the 21st mission. We're almost done. 
I want to think that I might be able to end it with quad 303s, but I'd rather have quad 50. So right now I'm not going to touch the cheap guns. We'll leave them at 303s. Unless we absolutely have the extra money. At this point, I can try and narrow down how many more missions it will take to end this campaign. Because we got two more here. Well, three more. So we're looking at ending the campaign at four missions. Providing nothing else goes wrong. So I don't lose another bomber. But anyway. And we'll drop down to the basement. Make our final approach and land. Alright, this is uh, Locke's first mission. Alrighty. And we'll have to come around and make another approach. It's alright. We've got plenty of fuel to do it. I kind of daydream in there, I think. Look at that fuel usage rise as that landing gear comes out. Yeah. We still got five minutes of fuel left though, which is plenty to land. All of a sudden it jumps up to 15. I don't quite understand that, but you now whatever. Now let's see what we can upgrade. I'm going to have to make some very wise decisions here. Alter it, definitely. Because the one mission is the command bunker raid, and that won't be flying at high altitude, so we're going to need to buffer it there. But this is, we've got some pretty good money off of this, but probably not enough to advance this, the guns, the way that I want them advanced. Oh, gosh. Okay. Well, let's check it out and see what we can buy for $11,000. Alrighty. Let's see. All turret. 6000 Well, yeah, we're going to have to go with that. Left waist. 50 caliber. Now, let's... We're going to need to upgrade these systems. It's going to be costly, but we definitely need these upgraded. And we can't do it. We can get an engine extension though, which is what we're going to need. I'm going to pretty much buy in as much stuff as I can. So, Alright, this is really all I can buy right now. We have one gun turret, the ball turret at quad 303s. And everything else is real thing. Um, let's see. Well, this mid upper is still 303. No, okay. Oh, the yeah. Let's do this because I can get the 50 caliber on the top turret. It goes up in damage, down in ammo per belt, but up in damage, and he is 50 caliber, so. We'll do that plus I can afford it. So left waist. Yeah. Left waist. Alright. 
And that's going to be about all we can buy. So, no more training. What rank does he need to be in to give him the secondary ability? He needs secondary at level 7. Alright. So he's probably actually not going to get his secondary abilities until we end the campaign. So that's always nice to know. Yeah. Okay, anyway. You know, it's not much we can do about it. No. Stuff happens in this game. Don't beat yourself up about it when it does. Um, Corky Duke, Corky Duke .com is my website. Like, comment, and share my videos. This is the Memphis Bell 2 and uh, my learning campaign trying to teach you how to uh, play this game no matter what goes wrong. <laughs> but things do go wrong and you have to learn to adjust with them. And I hope that my suggestions will work for you and uh, help you uh, conquer this game and completely succeed the, the campaign. So anyway, uh, if you got a question, put it in the comments. Let me know how I'm doing. I want to see that in the comments, too. Uh, tell me what you think I should do, what I shouldn't do. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you all next time. Y'all take care. Bye.